Hello there YouTube, this is PC Program Builder here and in uh, this tutorial we're going to show you how you can display your drivers in a list box in Whistle Basic and uh, you can do this in Whistle Basic 2008, 2010 or 2005 I think. So let's start with create a new project. You can see the icon up here, it's new project icon. So press it and these will come up make sure that the Windows Forms application is selected and now select a name uh, I'm just going to take display drivers but uh, if you want you can have uh, like uh, my drivers or something like that or show drivers but now we're just going to take display drivers drivers press enter or press the OK button Here's the form. So uh, the first thing thing we can do is to add a list box. Go up to the toolbox on the left side and uh, search off the list list box. Drag and drop to the form and uh, resize it a little bit. Uh, now double click on the form, not the list box. Uh, double click on the form. Uh, we can click here double click and uh, these will come up form load uh, this means that this is the first thing the form will do when it starts up so uh, let's start writing some codes uh, list box one dot items dot add range uh, io dot directory dot get logical drivers uh, and then just press enter wait yeah and now we have the the code so let's start uh, start application. Uh, you can press the F5 on the keyboard or just press this play button. And now, here is my drivers. This is my C drive, D, and this is uh, probably my CD drive, and this is uh, my other external hard drive. And now, maybe you want to open this like uh, when you double click it opens up in a new window and we can do that so uh, just close this application go back to the form one designer and double click on the list box now this is selected list box one not selected in the index changed but you see it is up here press it and search after double click here double click press it and now it will add a new private sub and in this you are going to type process dot start list box one dot selected item dot to string and now start up application again and now try to double click on the C and the C will come up double click on D D will come up double click on E oh yeah now my C drive went out so uh, and uh, double click on uh, G so that's that's cool that's all the codes how you can do uh, this it's uh, it's very easy very easy codes but uh, I will um, put the codes in the description uh, so you can uh, download it you can download the whole project yeah that was all so thank you for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel yeah, rate and comment on the video too if you like it or not I'm glad to have some feedback and if you want uh, 
to uh, give me some tips if you want me to make some uh, yeah if you want me to make a tutorial to you how you can create uh, yeah some stuff so uh, just uh, PM send a PM to me and uh, we can talk about it and maybe I will create a tutorial so uh, yeah thanks for watching bye bye